Welcome to Veganize It. We're making vegan mac and cheese. And the cool thing about this mac and cheese is instead of using a cheese sauce to get all that creamy deliciousness, we're actually gonna use vegetables and nuts. Our vegetables that we're gonna use are cauliflower and butternut squash. We're also gonna use cashews, but instead of soaking the cashews, we're gonna be boiling them with our vegetables. We want our vegetables to be slightly different sizes because they cook at different rates. So the butternut squash, we're gonna cut to about a half inch, whereas the cauliflower is in about one, one and a half inch pieces. So let's cut this butternut squash. It's never an easy one to cut. So you can also buy it pre-cut in your grocery store in the vegetable aisle along with all the salads. Let's compare. Our vegan mac and cheese uses vegetables and cashews, so it actually clocks in as more expensive than the traditional version. The whole recipe is only 91 cents more expensive and it's only 15 cents more per serving. The biggest cost difference comes from using whole food ingredients like cauliflower, butternut squash, and cashews. So now it's time to cook our vegetables. And we have our cauliflower, we have our butternut squash, and we have our cashews. Most vegan recipes have you soak your nuts overnight, but these nuts are actually gonna get cooked alongside our vegetables for just 15 minutes. Huge time saver. So let's get started. Our butternut squash and our cashews. Now I don't like doing dishes and I don't like being wasteful. So this recipe takes full advantage of that laziness, so to speak. You will use the same pot to cook the cauliflower and squash, then the same pot to cook your pasta, and again, the same pot to mix up the mac and cheese. Now that's what I call a one pot meal. Now that our vegetables are cooked and our cashews are soft, we're gonna transfer them to the blender because they're gonna be the base for our sauce. And we're using a strainer here, also known as a spider, because we don't wanna dump the water out so that we can use it again for our pasta. Get all the remaining cashews, that looks good. So we're gonna add our pasta to our boiling water and then we're gonna make our sauce. So in addition to our vegetables, we're gonna add a little vegetable broth or no chicken broth, some nutritional yeast, this is what gives it the cheesy flavor, onion powder, garlic powder, a little bit of Dijon mustard, a little bit of vinegar, we're using cider vinegar, but you could use white vinegar too. And then a nice pinch of salt. We're just gonna blend this up. Traditional mac and cheese is made up of milk and cheese, two dairy products. Unfortunately, dairy is a big contributor to greenhouse gas emissions for protein foods. Dairy actually has a bigger environmental impact than poultry or pork when it comes to greenhouse gas emissions per gram of protein. So by swapping out dairy for cauliflower, butternut squash, and cashews, you're doing your part to save the planet. So now our pasta is cooked and our sauce is made. We just need to mix everything together. I'm gonna pour it into our dish. And then the last thing we're gonna do is make a breadcrumb topping. So we have some whole wheat breadcrumbs, a little bit of parsley, mix those together, and then just a little bit of olive oil. Stir this together and spread this on top. So the last thing for us to do is to bake this in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes, really just till it gets crispy on top. Compared to a typical serving of mac and cheese at a restaurant, this recipe saves you 600 calories, 33 grams of saturated fat, and 1,500 milligrams of sodium. But since cheese and milk are both good sources of protein, the traditional version actually delivers about 20 more grams of protein. This mac and cheese baked for about 20 minutes just until it got really crispy and gooey. Now we're ready to serve. Oh yeah. That looks delicious. So the final thing to do is to take a picture. Special thanks to our vegan expert and thanks so much for watching. See you next time on Veganize It.